Mr. Pearson! Mr. Pearson! I think you're losing your touch. Hi there. Well, it's been at least six months since you killed anyone with your cooking. <laughs> I love you, too. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. Feed this to a hog. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Arthur. Dutch? I know you're I need you to do me a favor. Enough. Nothing too serious. I need you to help Herr Strauss. I've been working hard, Dutch. I know. And I know Strauss's business is not too glamorous. But it pays. Please, son, for me. <sighs> okay. Yes? What are you tailing me around for? What happened to you? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him. Let's get going. Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Let's go. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. And maybe stay out of the saloon this time. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stuck.
stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now, just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy, threatened to kill the whole town. Watch it. Mac went crazy, threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there, came back in the next day, and he woke up and started right back drinking again. <laughs> uh, I'll miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spark, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. <laughs> Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Uh, he's all right. <laughs> Stables are just up ahead. Hello there. All right. Go sell that big brute. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. Meet you back here in a bit. Hey. How can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. Yeah. And what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look.
right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's going to look after you just fine. Looks like a nice animal you got there. You happy? Guess we'll see. Easy. You won't know till you get in the saddle. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised I know, but it's done. Has been for a while now. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. To catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes. And obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Getting late. 
Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Well, then, you get us set up. Oh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. We better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. <clears throat> Morning, Arthur. Ugh. You ready? Well, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous, but... We'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was... weaned on bear meat. Okay. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. What's the hold up here? Okay. Let's go. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign. Oh, 
buy some Hallmarks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Get him. Know which way he went. Gotta be close. Let's keep going. Damn it. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. A little optimism, Arthur. Well. What do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work. Which do you think? Arthur? Come on, before we lose them all together. Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Shit. Easy. No, it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well, you coming or not? I'm gonna stick around <laughs> here for a while. I'll see you back at camp. Yeah! We 
we got a trail. Looks a way off. Okay, where are you?
Take a swig of this. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Oh, ain't no, ain't no healing this one, partner. Oh, God. Oh, can't, can't stay, I can't hold, I get her.
wrong man. Drop my brother Petey. Petey's always getting into trouble. They called you a woman killer, not a turncoat. Your own brother? I'm a good man. <laughs> you're wasting your breath. Sounds like your brother should have smarted you up when he had a chance. More.
it for you!
Help a blind man. From the seeker, sir. Run and keep running, or help others to run. All right. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. Looking for a bounty. Look no further than that wall, son. Nasty individual. That one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. What's more? You best act more civil than last time they you say were she here. ain't sleeping alone. You're back. Oh, I got it. It's, uh, you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. So what is it you need? A, a bath, perhaps?
you wouldn't have pails on the market, friend? I use this space as a blacksmith too, so let me know if you need me to grab something for you from the catalog. Thank you, really. safer in here, right? Shit, you gotta treat that thing as good as your horse, all right? You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. Essential, I reckon. Smart addition. I'd like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. It doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. We enhance your gun. See how much more it can do. Yeah, beautiful condition. Keep it up. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Bet that piece could use a personal touch now that you've had it for some time. You thought about upgrading the stock? I got some nice ones. Dangerous.
You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. Oh, wait. You're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfields? Yep. People are still talking about that fight. I ain't. Well, fair enough. Neither's Tommy. Anyway, how can I help you today? Thanks. and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, skilled tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. Okay, I'll keep my eye out for him. Can't wait to taste this. I know supplies are low. mentioned.
I reckon I need to get my hands on some materials first. You ought to trade those skins in. You'll freeze. I guess. He seemed kind of worried. Of course I'm worried. What about? The whole world is changing. Even I see that now. Our time is pretty much past. They don't want folk like us no more. This there rules will be damned with you. No more outlaws. No more killers. Now it's us being hunted. Oh, they ain't stopping. We went and made our choices a long time ago. I guess we gotta pay for our sins. I don't know what I'm trying to say here.